Evening guys, Real 111T here. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update on the kerosene stove that I did a kind of a, a demo on or a little mini review. Um, the Liberty Model Zero. So I uh, made a mention that they were going to be getting some tins for those stoves and I was going to be getting one in. And in fact I did. Um, they were nice, at a nice enough at a and to sell me just the tin because what they've done uh, over at the a and eBay store is they've changed the listing. If you go and follow that link that I put in the other video, um, what you'll find is the Model 00 stove with the tin. Okay, so basically it's not it's not optional. It's it's now considered one item. They got the tins in, and this is the example. I've actually got it loaded up here with the uh, the stove in it. We'll take a look inside there in a second here. Okay, but basically this is the tin. It's made out of uh, what appears to be like a galvanized sheet metal, almost like a gutter material. Um, the workmanship is decent. I mean, it's it's not fantastic. It's decent. You know, you see, you can see some some uh, markings on there where they're they're mapping it out. Now, I don't know how big a deal that is, um, but it's sturdy. It's um it's a good little carry case. It's definitely much more durable than the cardboard box that it comes in, and that's something to be considered uh, with something a stove like this that comes apart. Okay, is that you need to keep everything together. Now it's got a little latch here uh, with a hole in it. And what I was thinking is I picked up one of these little uh, aluminum clips, and you could just put that in there like that, and you know that'll that'll keep it secure. It's got a little carry handle on it. It's got they put a the stain. I believe this is a very similar sticker to the uh, the one that's on the the box. It's not exactly the same. Um, but it's got all the pertinent information of the manufacturer on there. So let's take a look inside this and see what we got. We got our flame ring, which, as I said before, I don't use this. And then our stove components. Okay. Got the tank. Got the burner assembly with a little flame spreader ring. If you want a close up of how that's kind of constructed, you can kind of see that. So basically what happens is if you have these outer two tubes, what happens is the fuel comes up into the outer two tubes and then it mixes in here and we go 90 degrees, then it goes down these tubes and then there's a jet there. Okay. So that and then that jet aims it up at the mixing chamber. Okay, we'll get a close up look here. I made a note that the casting on this, if I can get it to focus, the casting on this is very crisp. You know, really like that a lot. Um, so yeah, so you got your burner assembly then. And we've got the three legs, which basically this is what I use as a pot support. And then a funnel. Once again, I don't have the prickers with me. I should put them in here. And I did get the multi-tool, basically, that you would use to open this and then to attach this onto there. Okay? So, um, as I said in the other video, a tin is a typical sort of uh, item. They were really nice at A&H Pack Stoves. They sold me uh, just the tin for $15. Um, but that's not really an option on their eBay store. Their eBay store, if you click on that link, like I said, they switched it to one item, and the price is $80. So before I was saying $65 for the stove, so $65 plus $15, $80 shipped. Okay, so that's still not a bad deal, um, and you get the functionality of having a tin, uh, which is great for storage and for travel. Um, it's not really uh, something I would probably take backpacking if I was going to take the stove backpacking and this is not out of the realm of something you might want to take backpacking with you um, when you take a modern multi-fuel stove and you add in the fuel tank you know um, and such 
this really, I mean, it doesn't come out being that much heavier. I'm sure it might be a little bit heavier, you know, than something like a Whisper Light. But when you compare it to like the Optimus or Primus stoves, this is probably on par. Uh, you just have to figure out uh, some kind of a pouch to put it in to protect all the parts and uh, and to make sure you you held on to everything. I don't know if I would take this tin backpacking, but this is a great storage tin for on the shelf. And if you were doing car camping or uh, canoe camping, um, stuff along stuff of that nature where uh, it might get bumped up with other gear, this is a great little uh, way to protect it. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely bomb proof or completely crush proof, but it, it's definitely far better than the original carton and it's probably better than most tins you'll find in stores. So, and plus, you know, it's made specifically for this. Okay. Um, hang on a second. I'm going to collect my thoughts. I'll be back. Okay. So, um, the next point I want to make is that. Um, it's still a good option, okay, even with the tin. The price point going up to $80 is still significantly cheaper than a lot of the multi-fuel fuel stoves out there. But if you're really interested in just something to be putting in with your preps and going from $65 to $80 is something that, you know, makes you shake your head and, oh, I don't think I need the tin, blah, blah, blah. What you can do is you can order the next model up. This is the Model Zero. They have one called the Model 100. This tank is um, half a liter, and the Model 100 is a one liter. So it has basically double the fuel capacity and a slightly larger tank. Okay, and the thing about it that is interesting, well, it's not really interesting. It's, um, it's pretty standard for, uh, uh, for these manufacturers, um, both the, you know, the Swedish manufacturers, uh, Manislu in Japan, does the same thing. Several of the stoves will use the same burner. Okay, so the Model 100 uses the same burner, okay, just with a larger tank. And it does break down the same as this one does. The legs come off. Um, you got to watch it with some of those bigger household stoves. Sometimes the legs don't come off, and it doesn't break down. It's designed to be just a fixed device. It looks very similar, but the legs are soldered right on, and you know, and so on and so forth. But the Model 100 is selling for $60, okay? Um, it will make an amazing base camp stove um, based on the performance of this one. Uh, hopefully, within the next month or two, I will pick up one of those Model 100s, okay? So I don't want to tout it too much. I haven't seen one. Uh, I've seen the uh, level of manufacture that this stove has been manufactured to Okay, and I'm very hopeful about that Model 100. Um, and if any of you guys go out and, and get one for $60, let me know what you think of it right away. Um, but I can tell you that this Model Zero has basically exceeded my expectations, okay, so far. Um, and this burner is is well made, okay. It's This burner is as well made as any of the Swedish ones that I have. And this is really the key to it. Uh, I have another uh, brand uh, called a Global and it's got a burner about this size, but it is very anemic. It doesn't kick out much heat. I don't know if there's a problem with it from manufacturer, if the tube, if the casting isn't good, if the tube is, is clogged up or wasn't cleanly cast. But this burner works really well, okay? And uh, the price point of the whole system, even with the tin, is still pretty decent, okay? I mean, if you consider this V123R, you know, brand new, um, will run you about a hundred dollars to be able to get this for um, for eighty dollars shipped. You know that's a hundred dollars plus shipping for that SV. This is eighty dollars shipped uh, in the continental United States. You know it's not it's not a bad deal. This is not much more bulk than a SV one two three is. It's it's definitely a little bit more, but I would recommend you know don't don't take this thing. Um, and I mean this would definitely last a weekend out. Um, and in your preps, you know, it's pretty stable there. There's, like I said in the other video, there's the, the seal on the gasket here, and there's the leather pump seal. Um, those are really the main things that you may have problems with, okay? And those are both serviceable, okay? So I just want to give you a little quick update on this, guys, um, so you could kind of see what the box is like. I think I might decorate this one up. I might get an Indian flag and put it on that one. 
Um, so, yep. Any questions, shoot them at me, uh, or you know, you could you could contact NH Pack Stoves if you had a question pertinent to to them. Um, and like I said, I'll try and get one of those 100s in uh, sometime soon because I'm curious about that. Um, it's going to be a larger stove. So, I mean, this this is probably a, a good size if you're going to take it backpacking. The 100 is really, even though it breaks down, it's really kind of pushing it for backpacking. But any other real kind of travel and that 100 size stove would probably be pretty decent for you. You know, the same burner, just a larger fuel tank. So, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.